If you don't know a sign or have forgotten it, what is the best way to ask a deaf person? Often fingerspelling is insufficient to get the conceptually accurate meaning. For example, my nose is running, or I must take a shower. The verb signs running and take do not mean the same thing in ASL that they do in these English examples. Here are some strategies you can use if you get stuck on a sign. One, list other things in the same category. You can narrow down a topic to something more specific by introducing similar items. Two, use the opposite for contrast. If you know the sign for light, then you can infer the opposite idea, dark, by using a negation form. Three, describe or act out the concept using classifiers. DCLs and ICLs are excellent nonverbal communication mechanisms and can go a long way toward explaining a difficult concept. Four, you can always just provide a definition or try naming the thing. I will provide some examples of these strategies. What is this thing? Well, it's like a backpack or a purse, but it's small. Crescent-shaped with a belt closure. How do you wear it? Around the waist, it latches in the back, it has a zipper in the front, and there are things you can put in there. We call this a fanny pack. What is this thing? Well, it's a tool. It's like knitting needles, and it's used for making fabric, like for a sweater or a blanket. It's a long instrument, and on the tips are tiny hooks. You use the hooks to pull yarn into a pattern. It's called a crochet hook. It's made from metal, or from plastic. This is a tape, but it's a special different kind of tape. It's sticky, but on both of the sides. Both sides are sticky. It's called double-sided tape. This is for cooking for making cake or other things. You mix with it. But it's not a spoon. No, it's not a spoon. It's different. It has these thin things that come down and connect back at the top as kind of a sphere shape and you mix things with it. It's made specifically out of metal, although it can be made from plastic. It's called a whisk a wire whisk. Using classifiers can be a bit like a game of charades. Let's practice. I'm going to describe three things. See if you can guess what they are.
So how did you do? Were instrument classifiers like charades? Did you guess correctly? The more often you're able to incorporate instrument classifiers into your signing, the more fluent your ASL will be.